Thank you for your interest in understanding how to use model-based design to demonstrate DO254 compliance. Let's first review the general model-based design process, starting from requirements all the way down to implementation. With MathWorks tools, you can define the system requirements and architecture, then transition into detailed design and verification using models. Finally, the VHDL or Verilog code for an FPGA or ASIC can be automatically generated from the design models and verified on target hardware. I would like to do a quick review of the commercial aerospace standards and their relationships. ARP 4754A defines the systems engineering development processes and that feeds down into the software and hardware development processes that are defined by DO178C and DO254 respectively. There must be coordination between the processes and a safety assessment must be performed per ARP 4761. If you are a systems engineer, then you can create a system composer model of the architecture such as in this example, an actuator control loop intended for an FPGA that is controlling a hydraulic actuator. The control loop must comply with DO254. As an FPGA or ASIC developer, your main interest is in how the model-based design process maps to DO254. This diagram shows the flow outlined in the standard starting with hardware requirements, then conceptual design, followed by detailed design, and finally the hardware implementation. The Simulink models represent the conceptual design and the generated code the detailed design. MathWorks tools also provide capabilities for model verification, test generation, co-simulation, and hardware testing. Many of the tools used in this process can be qualified under the DO254 standard using the DO qualification kit, thus eliminating some of the manual review activities. Let's move on to the details. Simulink requirements can be used to author the requirements and link them to the models and test cases. A report can be generated that includes the requirement details, trace data, and implementation and verification statuses. Simulink requirements can be qualified using the DO qualification kit. As you complete the conceptual design in Simulink, the model elements can then be linked to the requirements as previously discussed. Simulink requirements also supports linking to other tools such as DOORS or Polarian. A system design description document can be generated using Simulink Report Generator that includes the model details and the trace data. Simulink Report Generator can be qualified using the DO Qualification Kit. Conformance to design standards is an important aspect of DO254. A set of modeling standards for DO254 ships with Simulink Check and HDL Coder. Simulink Check provides static analysis of the model to show conformance to those standards. And those checks can be qualified using the DO qualification kit. Another form of static analysis on the models is the use of Simulink Design Verifier for finding errors using formal analysis. Examples of errors that can be found are numeric overflows and divide by zero errors. Simulink Design Verifier can be qualified using the DO Qualification Kit. Do you often find bugs during the testing process? Simulation of models during the design process will uncover issues much earlier. Simulink requirements, Simulink test, and Simulink coverage provide an integrated environment for testing the models and evaluating results. The pass-fail results Checks from Simulink test and the model coverage results from Simulink coverage can be qualified using the DO qualification kit. What can you do if model coverage is not achieved? 
may be due to derived requirements or missing boundary value test. Simulink Design Verifier can automatically generate these missing tests and Simulink Coverage, which can be qualified, can verify the missing coverage points are satisfied. Now that the models are verified to be good, what could be simpler than pushing a button and generating the code? The code is well commented and traceable to the model and the requirements simplifying code reviews. Worried about timing or chip area? Optimization techniques such as pipelining and resource sharing can help with this. Many of our DO254 customers choose not to use these because they want to simulate the same timing behavior that will be in the RTL. Conformance to coding standards is another important aspect of DO254. HDL Coder provides you the ability to select from a set of well-documented industry standard rules that the generated code can comply with. Have an application where you prefer floating point instead of fixed point arithmetic? HDL Coder has the capability to generate native floating point functions onto the hardware. Want to test your RTL directly in your system level design and test tools? HDL Verifier allows this integration, including capability to run from simulate test and use the qualified pass-fail checking. Obviously, the final target hardware must be tested. One method to do this is to connect the hardware to simulate via HDL Verifier and test using FPGA in the loop capability. This also includes the use of simulate test with qualified pass-fail checking. Other hardware testing methodologies are supported, such as using HDL test bench or System Verilog DPI test bench. Either of these test benches can be automatically generated using HDL Verifier. This exports your system level design and test cases to RTL simulation. Another popular method of verification for ASICs and FPGAs is the use of UVM. HDL Verifier can generate the test sequences and the scoreboard for UVM. The tools that can be qualified for use on DO254 projects are highlighted in green on this slide. Under DO330 Software Tool Qualification Considerations, these are classified as TQL5, but under DO254 they are verification tools. In conclusion, model-based design provides a development and verification environment compatible with DO254. The benefits are reduction in time, cost, and program risk. For more detailed information about each of the tools mentioned in this video, visit the product pages on our website. Thank you.